What's up, YouTube? Troy Devlin here. Thank you so much for watching. I know that some of you out there are probably struggling to lose weight, and this video will help you do that. I'm going to tell you three things to avoid on your weight loss journey because because um, they'll sabotage you. And uh, I didn't want to be too dramatic, but a buddy of mine, uh, Glenn Ewald, shout out, shout out to Glenn. He uh, he used to call these things the White Death. Because, uh, because it's that serious as far as how these things impact your health. There's three of them. They're white in color. I want you to look out for them, and I want you to eliminate them if, uh, if you're trying to undertake a weight loss journey. If you're trying to lose some body fat, cut these things out, and I promise you, uh, you'll see that take place over the course of a few weeks. Number one, and it's probably no surprise to you, but number one is sugar. Cut it out. It's white, right? Think about that white table sugar kind of stuff maybe that you put in coffee. No, we don't put that in our coffee because we're cutting it out. We're getting rid of that one. And um, something to keep in mind is that sugar throws off your hormones big time. I'm sure you've heard of insulin and um, you don't want to spike your insulin and white sugar will do that to you. And it's one of the reasons that it's the white death because we want to keep our blood sugar levels stable. We don't want to have these big peaks and troughs because when you consume some sugar and you have that peak and you're feeling good, well then guess what? Your body releases that insulin, all right? The insulin hits the bloodstream, drives that sugar into your cells, you store it up in the form of glycogen. Now, the insulin is still out there floating around and you, now you have low blood sugar. So what do you want? You want more sweets and then you consume the sweets again and then your body releases the insulin again. But over time, your body isn't able to release the same amount of insulin all the time, right? Over time, that's it's going to wear down your body's ability to be able to do that. Also, you don't want to have large amounts of insulin floating around the blood all the time because it can become toxic to your nerves and it causes problems for your blood vessels and there's a whole host of reasons why we don't want to have a whole lot of sugar floating around our blood all the time we don't want to have a whole lot of insulin we want to be sensitive to that insulin because we want that insulin to only come at certain times and when it comes oh it does its job and it drives those nutrients into the cell we don't want we don't want uh, to become resistant to that effect to where we need more and more insulin in order to get the sluggish nutrients into the sluggish cells we don't want to we, we don't want that to be us so um again without going down a rabbit hole on this eliminate sugar that's number one number two and it might be a little surprising and, and we have to be we we have to keep an open mind here but number two is salt and the main reason is because it'll it'll cause you to retain water so for instance one gram of salt will hold the equivalent of uh, of weight of water so you can think of consuming one unit of salt is going to cause your body then when that salt um you know when that salt is distributed throughout your body and your bodily fluids it'll it'll cause you that one gram of salt will cause you to hold four grams of water in there in your body so it causes you to hold water and the same thing is true for uh for sugar we mentioned number one white sugar causes this that same uh, one to four ratio there so sugar is going to cause you to hold water salt will cause you to hold water and when you're holding on to right if we're trying to lose weight we're trying to release and let go of specifically body fat so when we are holding on to water we're not going to really be losing any weight right because we're going to see those numbers on the scale aren't changing because we're heavier because of the water that we're that we're holding on to and um that's not the state that you want to be in when you're trying to lose weight when you're trying to lose weight you want to be in a state where your body is letting go of water so what you have to be doing is you have to be drinking a lot of water you need to be well hydrated to support your bodily processes you don't want to get yourself dehydrated and put any strain on your organs during a weight loss process but um you also don't want to put any more strain on yourself than is necessary in terms of holding water by consuming too much salt. Cut it out. Don't add salt to your food and be specifically mindful of foods preserved with salt. 
Many foods are preserved with salt. A lot of the snack foods and stuff, we're going to be cutting those out because they have sugar added to them. They have too much salt. And we're cutting out sugar. We're cutting out salt because they cause you to retain water. And it hurts your look and it holds you back on your weight loss journey. You're not going to be losing any fat if you're consuming a whole lot of sugar and a whole lot of salt. Get rid of them. Now, the last one is... Up for debate. I've talked to many of my international friends that tell me, "Hey, you know, in, in uh, when I'm in Italy, you don't you don't have to worry about this." And and uh, and I uh, have also spoken to people and said the exact same thing about France. But I'm talking about specifically in the U.S. That's where we're at right now. I'm at the office here in uh, Albany, New York. White flour, cut it out. Get rid of white flour. It'll hold you back. And one of the reasons why is similar to. Um, the sugar and the salt causing our body to retain water. And that'll happen too for many people with white processed flour because it creates inflammation. And inflammation, low grade or, you know, medium to high grade chronic inflammation will make us puffy looking. It will cause us to hold on to or retain water. And it'll definitely interfere with our body's ability to let go of fat. Promise you that. And many people are sensitive to white processed flour. So if you can identify it, I would invite you to eliminate it. And again, some of my international friends tell me, hey, you know, I eat, I eat things like, uh, you know, breads and pastries and various pastas. And hey, I'll have a, I'll have a, a small personal fresh pizza every now and then. And I find that when I do it overseas, if I'm in Italy or France or some of these places, the flour products, uh, people tell me, because I've never been, but um, they say that they're different over there. So it's possible that here in the United States, we have a, uh, something is going on uh, as far as the uh, food processing or just, you know, that, hey, the food supply and what we consider to be food, you know, I mean, white flour, I consider that to be a poison. A lot of people consider that to be food. So just be mindful of those three things. I promise you, if you do this, you're going to lose some weight. You'll lose some body fat. You're going to look great. And when you do, I hope that you remember that you watch this video. And I hope that you like and subscribe. Tell your friends. I need those subscriptions. And I really appreciate the watch, guys. Thanks for hanging out. And we'll see you soon.